Questions, questions, questions. Feel, hold on, he's asked a question. Ah, feels great, man. Honestly, it does. Uh, all the mistakes that we made, um, all the throws that I missed, um, the interception, uh, at the end of the day, we came in at halftime, we made the adjustments that we needed to make, um, and we won the game. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. We're 2-0 and now. Um, that was a very good opponent that we faced. They, they were very well coached, very disciplined. Um, they played a hell of a game as well. It was a low scoring game. I thought it was going to be high scoring. Um, so defenses, both sides, man, played really well. But our defense, man, I'm really proud of them and how they played. Uh, it was a hell of an effort on their part. And without them, we would not win this game. Um, so, uh, you know, I need to clean up the little things. You know, we hit a couple of those shots early in the game. This is a different ball game. But uh, we didn't hit those. Um, but uh, we, at the end of the day, we, we, we made up for it. Matty, second straight week with the defense. Come on, bro. Come sit right here. What you doing? I'm going to go around. Say it again. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Manny, it took you a while to get going, as you mentioned, to connect yeah. on those deep shots. Did you feel it would only take one or two, like on that two-play drive, to open up things for you guys? All it, all it takes is, is for one of those to hit. All it takes is for you to get a touchdown, for you to get a little bit of momentum. Um, and, uh, you know, we ended up getting some momentum there at, late in the game. Uh, the third down call, I think it was like third and ten or something like that. Um, and uh, we, 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 knew what, we knew they were going to play man. So we knew that if we lined up Eno in the boundary and we had three by one to the field, that uh, that, that linebacker was going to have to run with him and, and go through all those guys. So we made the play, perfect play call. Coach Lykson called the perfect play. Uh, rub for Eno. We put him in the flats. And that was, that was the difference there at the end of the game was that, that big long run or a catch by Eno. Seemed like, seemed like uh, the first few minutes of the fourth quarter, you could really see the heat starting to take a toll on them, but, and you guys sort of taking command both sides of the ball. Yeah. Did it feel that way on yeah, the field? Yeah, so our, our game plan, I mean, it was kind of similar to last week. Um, we knew it was going to be hot, and we knew they'd, they're not in as hot of a situation as we are here. So our, 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 our goal was to, and we weren't really that successful, honestly, but to go sideline to sideline those first two quarters. And then the third and fourth quarter, we wanted to get downhill because you know, at the end of the half, the thing that they pulled, I know everybody was booing them and everything, but them taking the knee, waiting, then calling a timeout, that was their coach making a smart smart situation uh, call to, to give his guys some more rest time because the halftime is not that long, and, uh, and you could tell they needed it. So it was a pro and a con for them because it told us that they're tired. Um, and uh, so that second half, we knew we wanted to get downfield, and we started hitting some, some bigger shots down the field, um, and then it paid off. You talked about the def like last week too, even touching on offense yeah. picking defense up, defense picking yeah. offense up. When they got that interception, the Huge. tip in the end zone, Huge. what was your mindset coming back on the field? Gotta go get points. Anytime defense gets a takeaway, um, we got to do our job and go get seven. Um, that is a that is that's what we have to do. Defense, like I said, did a hell of a job. I mean, holding that opponent to to 13 points, man, is very impressive. So. Um, I'm just really, man, I'm really, really excited and, and really uh, honored to, to play alongside these guys and the guys in the locker room. Brandon, for you, that key moment and just throughout the game and your scoring ability, what was it like being in that pressure situation to score the game-winning field goal? Uh, I didn't actually feel that much pressure, honestly. All the guys came up to me and told me, uh, you know, came up and said, I love you, <coughs> what? You know, and I honestly, I usually get nervous sometimes, you know. I feel like <coughs> my leg's shaking, but nothing in this time. That was it? Yeah, it was <laughs> Man, he had a scramble toward the sideline late in that drive. Nikhil looked like he had a hell of a block. Can you tell me what you saw on that play? And Nikhil, can you talk to me about what you saw on that play after? Yeah, it was a simple zone read. Um, you know, <laughs> it's funny because that situation two years ago, you know, it's a completely situation in my head. But, uh, you know, Playing this game so much and being around on the field and, and talking with Coach Edwards so much, I knew the situation. Um, the end crashed. We called uh, base, which means that the guys on the outside are going to block. Um, pulled his own read because the DN came downfield, got upfield, and did my best to just slide, you know, close to the sideline so the clock continues to run. Um, and uh, you know, that was just that's coaching. That's 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 situational football, and the coaches, you know, coaching us to do that type of stuff. So. It was a great play call, and we just went out there and executed the X's and O's part. This is a question for all of you guys. Juan had to. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Um, I didn't. I didn't really see too much on that play. You know, I just knew it was a big point in the game, and you know, it was really just the effort play. I knew I had to. I had to maintain my block, and, and I did my best to do that.
This is, a, this is a question for everybody. This is the second straight year that you guys have had a big blackout game. There's been a lot of hype going into it against a ranked opponent coming into your house. This is obviously an out-of-conference game, so it's somebody that you didn't know as well as last year with Washington. Still a big game. It was a defensive game. It was a, not the typical high-scoring affair that you guys are used to. What was the preparation like going into this game compared to your other games in conference, and how do you guys feel you played to your expectations? Same. Same. We prepared the same as we would for any other opponent um but like we just talked about in the locker room we can't be too riled up about this because honestly we expect it you know what i mean we we go we practice so hard we put so much time in the off season for games like this for games to be won in the fourth quarter that comes down to coach joe and what we do in our strength and the conditioning program um so that's just a testament man our, our will and our want to win you guys could see it and we expected to win um, and when the adversity struck, we ain't back down from it. We came back out there and did what we had to do to win this football game. This is a question for Manny or Nikhil. Coach Edwards talked last week about the need to sustain more drives in order to have mm -hmm. success moving forward. Obviously, all that matters is you guys won the game tonight, but mm -hmm. not a lot of long drives, being able to wear them mm -hmm. out. What do you have to work on to improve in that aspect moving forward? Just saying discipline, the things that we're coached to do. Um, you know, there's a couple situations where me and a couple of the receivers, we weren't on the same page, and that is that is unheard of. And 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 because we work too hard to to miscommunicate on the field in some situations, so we'll get it cleaned up. Um, at the end of the day, we won the football game, so you know you don't see that on the stat line. You don't see a, a missed call or anything. You see a W. So um, I'm not worried about it. We'll we'll correct the little things and and on to San Diego State now. Um, this question's for Manny and Nikhil. So. Uh, last week, Coach Edwards was actually talking about more people contributing to the offense. And obviously, not a high scoring game, but there were a lot more guys making drives. Mm -hmm. It was more spread out. So how were you guys able to do that? Um, you know, that, that that's something I've been stressing since the preseason. You know, if I feel like if they really want to take me away, if they really want to double me, do whatever they do, we have so many other weapons. And you know, we had so many guys step up tonight and make plays and then it ended up being key at the end of the game. Thank you. Jalen, can you just speak to uh, how well you guys executed the defensive game plan overall, and then also just filling against their runs coming downhill and being in the tackle box the whole game? Uh, just watching film, you know, just being prepared um, with the coaches teaching us, you know, throughout the week. You know, Coach G always give us credit, you know, for us storm, uh, getting to the ball, and which I understand, but his game plan is something else. You know, just the way he just, I don't even know how to say it, like the platform of it, you know, throughout these two weeks that he done for us is like, it's crazy. So just, um, like I said, just um, us as a defense going in, watching film, you know, watching more film and asking questions. Piggybacking off of that, 20 points in two games. This was the biggest question mark heading into the season. This defense is showing up. What do you guys have to say for that? I mean, well, offense guy or defense guy to talk about? Whoever. You talk about it, bro. Um, you guys... Repeat the question again. Uh, I'd lost a train of thought. Games, the biggest question mark heading into the season was how this defense was going to do. Just going out there not thinking, you know, just communicating. You know, that's been um, – one of the things in practice, you know, sometimes, you know, we might mess up here and there. But, you know, when game time come around, you know, we have to be on our P's and Q's. And Coach G make a good um, a good statement about that, you know, during walkthrough. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to piggyback off that. You know, I think it's from the practice. You know, our defense has been practicing extremely hard. Um, you know, every time the ball is in the air, they all swarm the ball. And you can really see that translate to the game. So it's, it's really a practice thing. And they've done a great job of that. Uh, and Kiel, talk about the battle that you had with Justin Lane. It was a much hyped thing going into the week. Talk about how you were able to pull through in the fourth quarter and get that touchdown over him. Um, you know, that touchdown was really just me and Manny being on the same page. You know, he he, he trusted me to come down with the ball, and he put the ball in in, in the perfect spot. The, uh, he put it in a spot where the defender really didn't have much chance of getting uh, didn't have much chance of getting to it. Um, so at the end of the day, that's that's all the extra work we've done after practice throughout the past couple of years, and, and it, it showed. Jalen, especially midway through the third quarter, too, I mean, Manny's talking about how they were feeling a little tired at the end of the first half. You guys could sense it. 
But could you just sense the frustration? I mean, in the running game, they had some big games, but for the most part, you guys shocked it up. Could you just kind of feel their frustration in the running game? Most definitely. But, um, just applying pressure. You know, everybody's swarming to the ball. You know, I can't really say too much, but our defense was, you know, swarming. So that's all I can say. My mindset is I can make any throw on the field. Um, Coach Likens, uh, Coach Coach Edwards, they they reassure me the confidence they have in me to lead this football team and touch the football every single time we're on offense. Um, so, you know, I went to T. Chad, I went to Frank, I went to Kill. You know, I st the stutter I overthrew him probably by this much. The the post that Frank had in the back of the end zone, it was maybe less than a yard. So, um, you know. Those are things that I, I personally, I'm very disappointed. I don't think I played nearly as good as I could have played tonight. Um, but that's just because I'm hard on my ex on myself, and I expect to do great things because I worked too hard to get to where I am today. Um, two more, so, two more, Jeff, yeah. and then press up. When you guys came out with four wide receivers there at the beginning of the second half, mm -hmm. two plays, they had to call a timeout. Mm -hmm. what, what what did you make of the fact that they had a, you know, you guys forced them to make that early timeout? They didn't have it at the end of the game then. I mean, I don't want to disrespect their coaches or anything, but I just don't think they were prepared for it. They weren't prepared to see quads into the field because we hadn't done that. Um, that's something that we we knew. We, we had a, we had a simple play called, but in their heads they're like, "Oh my goodness, you know, I don't know what's about to happen." So we got to call a timeout because you know our defense isn't set up to 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 stop any deep pass threat or anything. The the 10 personnel looks were a lot more productive yeah. than your other formations in the yeah. or personnel groupings in this in that second half yeah. was that something that that you just talked about with with how that how that exactly work yeah i mean um what they were doing was they were they were playing a lot of cover four um when we went in those two by two split wide um and when we put him in the slot they really were trying to focus on him the outside cornerback it was almost that he was trying to overlap if he ran an inside fade, which is why we did that, and we ran a hitch on the outside. It's a simple smash concept, just a different way to look at it. Um, and they had no flat defender, so throw the ball to the outside. Those are eight-yard you know, pops, 10-yard pops. You miss a tackle, it could be a big play. So um, we were just taking what the defense gave us.